We are on to the second episode, and once again, I'm crawling around at retired tortoise pace. Look at this. I'm three spaces away from the start. I landed on a happening space and got up to the top of the board first episode. It's been four turns since. Four turns of pain. There's also one Bowser space, and if you get a Bowser spa capsule, a red space will become a Bowser space. So I don't think Mario can get in my way, because un because he's got to go the long way around. Wario getting some long shot is my only concern. That is probably the greatest issue. Thankfully, he's not getting it this time, but he is going to get a red space. Come on! Thank heavens! And even then, I still haven't rolled higher than a three. I w I'm surprised that's not a cursed mushroom. Six turns! It took me six turns to get that, and even then I just rolled the bare minimum. Good heavens. I think you can also taunt people by pressing L in this game. But the taunts are much, much better in in future games. Okay, that one's right in front of Wario. He can't possibly screw this one up. Oh, what's this? Ah, oh, it's a piranha plant. So, half my coins are just gone. That sucks. But it's at least better... It's at least... A, the one in the... Mario Party 6 is nasty because when you throw it down, you actually get the coins when somebody else lands on it. Oh no, and I'm with the AI on Quilt for Speed. Guide a vehicle to the finish line to move, stop the roulette wheel on the direction you need to go. It's usually a bit easier to do this on your own. I'm with these two Muppets. Right, so I'm... Oh god, where are they going? So I can't hit mine just yet. That was actually quite well coordinated. That was horrible. Alright, now we can probably do with going... Uh... Right. Yeah, right now I want straight ahead. Now, one of these... Alright, now move straight ahead, you morons. That was actually surprisingly decent. And Wario winds up getting nailed with an ejector seat. And Wario is back in last place because of that red space, basically. So, there we are. It is a little bit on the slow side, but not too shabby, all things considered. Alright, so where's that Cooper Bank going? Usually a good idea to put it in high traffic areas that players can't actually avoid. I'm going to try using... So, hidden blocks can only ever be 10 coins. Always 10 coins. It's basically the same as the coin block capture. No janky stars out of nowhere. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot Mario was along there. But Mario has fallen just short. Wouldn't it be amazing if Wario rolled a 1 and then I suddenly got 20? No. Nope. That was never going to happen. <laughs> so, it's... It's turn six. I Well, it's turn seven. In the previous six turns, I have moved 12 spaces. <laughs> at, right at the moment, I think I would probably be getting outstripped for speed by Shuckle. That's how bad I'm doing. But let's see how the rest of our turns go. 
Alright, so Mushroom Capsule, using it on myself, costs five coins. That does make things a bit awkward. Alright. I actually rolled something higher than three. But I still went absolutely nowhere. Comparatively speaking. I could have got that with a normal dice block. I don't think there are going to be that many stars in this game. Oh, who's the one person? I'm not very good at heat stroke. I'm not very good with hot weather anyway. One player tries to knock the other three off the blocks while the other three must jump to avoid being knocked off. The fake swing is probably the biggest issue. The fact that you can just easily fake people out can make this pretty simple for the one player. It also doesn't help if you can't jump. I know what you're going to say, and I'm thinking it as well. In my defense, I usually play Yoshi, but yeah, I don't think there's any getting out of this one. Uh... Mario? Potaboos will also wind up falling down too. If you get your timing right, you can indeed jump back on. But sadly, I got eliminated first. So it's a big question. Improve the AI, because it's obviously going to need to happen after a while, and wind up getting myself absolutely thrashed. It's a bit of a dilemma. At the moment, the AI is not my greatest weakness. Yoshi really should be using that mushroom. Maybe when he gets a bit closer, he'll use it. Okay, Twister Capsule moves the location of the star. Knowing my luck, I'll probably wind up rolling like 10 and have to go on top and to wind up avoid not getting any money out of the Cooper Bank. So Mario's fairly rich. I'm racing Yoshi. There's another Cooper Bank. I probably should give you a bit of an overview of the board because I kind of forgot to in the first episode. Cursed Mushroom, I'm surprised I haven't got that. There's just something so satisfying about that. Anyway, it's Wario's turn. So, 10 coins for the gold mushroom. Wario, I need a mushroom to roll worse than that, man. But Wario has to stump up for the Cooper Bank. If I roll a 2, I get the Cooper Bank. Which I'm probably not going to now. Watch me roll a 10 and I wind up landing on Bowser or something. I don't think I can land on the Mecha Bowser from here. So, quick overview of the board. I think 87 was my coin star total. We can press Y to look at the map. Y gives us a broader overview of the board. But if we scroll fairly fast, we can see there's the train station down here. Oh, scroll fast is not actually that fast. Land on those blocks and the cannon down here will shoot at them, causing you to fall off down to this space here, just above the text. Move over here. And we can see that robot, those uh, houses. Yeah, the six events on the board must be the default spaces because we've got those bridges, we've got Donkey Kong over here, we've got Mecha Bowser who will shoot you back to start, or maybe one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there are six there are six happening spaces on the board. Interesting. Anyway, roll 
Well, at least I'm consistent. My average is consistent and I get the money out of the Cooper Bank, so that's not horrible. And I get a coin block. Well, it's almost consistent because... Let's see... This is... This is turn eight. Turn eight and I've moved 21 spaces. I'm still on an average of less than three a turn. Mazed and confused. We have to make our way through an ever-changing electric maze. Work your way to the star in the middle of the maze. Whoever gets there first wins. The walls of the maze change often, so keep an eye on the path. This... It feels like a changing version of the maze to get the power bombs in uh, Metroid Prime. Okay. This way. That there's a wall right in front of me. I don't care how many times I get a There was probably a wall that I, a pathway that opened up right in front of me, but I... The random number generator is not on my side. I tried to charge headlong through an electric fence, and unsurprisingly it didn't work. So, what turn is this? Yeah, this is turn 9. I've moved 21 spaces in 8 turns. Heavens help me. And now if I actually had a mushroom, I might be a chance to beat Yoshi there. But we will never find out. But I can at least demonstrate the sensible thing to do when you get a coin block. Wario... ...has just blown his shot at a star. So, he's exchanging capsules with someone else. Let's see, come on me. So, Wario got a twister and gave Yoshi a gold mushroom. If Yoshi doesn't use this... That is a heroically stupid moment! You hold on to that, you raise up your coins and you just charge for the star. Right. Coin block. Use it on yourself, find the hidden block and get free a free five coins. Also worth noting, if you erase all the Cooper Bank spaces and somebody puts down another Cooper Bank... Oh my god, I actually rolled a 7! Mind you, ironically enough, if I get a 3, I get Donkey Kong. So, the average has gone up. We have now jumped to an average of slightly over 3. 3.11. Oh, curvy curves. This is terrible. And I'm with the AI. That's the worst part about this. I'm going to have to make them smarter. It's always a double-edged sword making them smarter because even when you do make them smarter, if they're on your team, you have very little chance and I'm not leading. I've started ranting and I have... Look at that. Now, all things being equal, if the two teams wind up travelling at the same pace and making the same number of mistakes, you also have to move in quite a wild fashion. If the two teams make the same number of mistakes, they will finish at the same time and it will be a draw, wasting everyone's time. Whoops. This is kind of weighted in the one person's favour. It's so much easier to do this on your own. Yeah, I'm not in exactly sure how you're supposed to win that if you're the team of three. You basically have to be perfectly in sync. 
I am just bad at the game. But yeah, an average of 3.11 spaces across nine turns. That's pretty terrible. At last, after throwing the other one away. So yeah, if you land on DK, you can get a DK minigame, which lets you get coins. Yoshi is just rolling like me. I think Yoshi's missed the... Oh my god, Yoshi missed the star and is dueling! Oh, there's a lot riding on this. If I... Oh, please don't let it be what I have a horrible feeling it's going to be. They're all mysteries. Want Mace, I should be able to win? But yeah, man, I feel sorry for Yoshi. He rolled like me. Right, so we need to find what the hidden Want Maze is, and you can't just take a shortcut and run to the side. So... Oh man, I clipped the clipped into the side. Whoops. Oh come on. Whoo, that was a tight competition. It's a fun little minigame, it's pretty intense. But yeah, I do need to make them harder, but that also winds up being a bit of a problem, because yeah, that's what I was saying. When the AI in almost any game is on your team, they wind up with about the intelligence of a garden slug on horse tranquilizer. They will inevitably be absolutely awful. You could do a really trollish move. Well, it looks like Mario knows his audience. Okay, place your bets. Place your bets. Who is willing to believe it? Who in the audience is willing to believe there is a big fat one in my future? And not a one that has a zero on the end of it either. See where Mario lands though. Space behind me. Wario doesn't have enough coins. Mario's the only threat at the moment. Yoshi squandered his chance. Oh, we got DK! That's what I was hoping for. So, we can also get the DK roulette. If you roll higher than DK, you get a star. DK bonus is coins. He basically got a blue space. DK cheaped out. Alright. Watch this. That's eight ones. That's not too bad, all things considered. I don't want to duel anyone. Because there's a dual mini game that I know is in my future. What? Wait, how's it? How's it going bouncing up and down like that? I think there's a little bit of give in the control stick, but that happens with GameCube controllers over time. Oh, thankfully it's not that one. Get a rope. Perhaps the worst Mario Party game 
in existence. Its successor, Pitfall, is pretty horrible too. It's basically press, move a little bit, press a button. All right, dive. You can make it to the end of the course. Whoa, oh man, oh yeah, that's right. Aeroplane controls. Oh, took a hit. Mario's nearly dead. Finish. Hooray, I actually demonstrated competent piloting skills. At least it's better than the damn rocket barrel. Mario crashed and was never seen again. Yeah, I'm really, really wary about what to bet on uh, du on dual games because you never know what's going to come up. It could be something really crappy. It could be something really good. So I'm on 104 coins. I'm securing that coin star. No battle games yet. It usually goes to the games marked with question usually goes to question marks. But, we'll wrap up the, se the second episode with Dodge Bomb. Pick up and throw bomb bombs at your opponents while avoiding the ones being thrown at you. Last one standing wins. There's a nice bit of music in this. You can get blown up by stationary bomb bombs. But this game is usually very, very short. <laughs> See, over in four seconds. That really looks like the setup for Town of Salem. <laughs>